What's going on investors? Dest here from Investments and today I want to bring you a video explaining how to use QuickSwap as Beta Pulsar is migrating to the Matic network. So the last couple of videos I've been doing, I've been making them as sort of a tutorial for newcomers or people unfamiliar with the Matic network and how this migration to the Matic network was going to play out. So there's going to be at least two more videos that I'm going to do covering Beta Pulsar. So before we begin, we'd like to give a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. So a very special thanks to these fine folks here. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, the link is in the description below. Then we also like to give a shout out to our Discord channel. The link for that is also in the description below. So feel free to join up if you want to talk about crypto. And like I said, we're covering the migration of Beta Pulsar to the Matic Network. It is currently on the Binance Smart Chain Network migrating over to the Matic network starting tomorrow on Friday. Liquidity will be provided. So unfortunately, since they are still on the Binance Smart Chain, I cannot purchase Beta Pulsar on the Matic network yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you using a different coin called Evo DeFi. I might make this video again once Beta Pulsar moves to the Matic network just as a step-by-step -step tutorial. But this is going to serve as an example and I'm also going to cover some tips and tricks for using QuickSwap and the Medic Network. So let's get started. The Evo DeFi is the one we are looking at, Evo Matic specifically. And like any farm, what you need to do is you need to purchase the coin and provide liquidity unless you're going to do a pool. So let's start buying some Gen X tokens. So I like to right click, go open new tab and it opens in QuickSwap. QuickSwap is the main exchange that you're going to find on the Matic network. So I would think of it as like a Uniswap for Ethereum or a PancakeSwap equivalent for Binance Smart Chain. QuickSwap is the main one on Matic. So I'm going to also preemptively right click on this token address, open that in new tab. Much like PancakeSwap, you get the warning message that says, hey, anyone can make a token. Make sure you verify it against this address to make sure you're purchasing the correct token. I click I understand and continue and that brings me to this menu where I can purchase Gen X. I personally am going to purchase with my USDC instead of my Matic because I want to keep my very small amount of two point something Matic in there for transactions and whatnot. And let's make a small transaction. Let's say we want to buy Let's just use five for an example here. So I'm gonna buy five of these. Now, one of the things you'll notice is my slippage tolerance is only at 0.1%. If I get a failure on this transaction, it might be due to that. Now, to edit this is very easy. You're just gonna click the gear up here for settings and you can change it very similar to PancakeSwap. So you can go 5%, 1% or a custom field where you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to keep it at 0.5% for right now and let's continue on. So I'm going to swap my 8.18 USDC for 5 Gen X tokens. Let's click swap and confirm my swap and then confirm my transaction. And if you look at this gas fee, the Matic gas fee, that is the reason why Beta Pulsar is migrating to the Matic network much cheaper gas fees. Confirm my transaction and we're gonna wait for it to get a positive confirmation. So I'll just close that and wait. And there's my confirmation that it went through. So now if I were to refresh this, you should see my balance update to five something. And there it is. So my Gen X balance is now five. So now I want to go and provide liquidity to the Gen X slash USDCLP pool. So I'm going to go back to QuickSwap and you'll see at the top they have a section labeled pool. You're going to click there and then you're going to go to add liquidity. And now here I already have this added Gen X, but remember when I opened that contract address, I can copy and paste this into this field and now I can provide liquidity. So I'm not gonna do Matic, I'm gonna do USDC and click max Gen X because that's what I had the least of. And now I'm gonna supply liquidity. And now I wanna confirm my supply 
and confirm on MetaMask and wait for confirmation. So this is all very similar to PancakeSwap, so there's not much difference, it's just kind of using this interface. So in theory, if you were familiar with PancakeSwap, you'll have no problem with this. Uh, it'll just be a matter of getting used to the interface. And you can see I now have my liquidity, so I'm going to go back to this Evo DeFi site, and I'm going to now stake my liquidity. And I'm going to click on the max, so I put all my liquidity in there, and then I'm going to stake and confirm. And there's my confirmation. So now I am now staking my Gen X slash USDC LP into this pool. So now that I'm staked, I'm also going to show you how to unstake and split your liquidity as well, just to serve as an example. So I only have 0 0.000054, so I don't want to do a lot. I want to keep some in this pool. Um, so let's go with 0 0000001. All right, so then I'm going to unstake. Confirm my transaction. Wait for my transaction to confirm. And now my transaction is confirmed. So I have removed that little, 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 little bit of LP. Now that it's on stake, I'm going to go back to quick swap and split that LP token into two again. Again, if you need the address, you can always right click on that and open it in a new tab. I'm going to hit continue go to pool and it should find my liquidity and it did now I can remove my liquidity and if it didn't find it for instance you could go to create a pair do USDC and then I can take this contract address paste it in here and it should be able to find my liquidity again much like pancake swap so I'm going to go ahead and split this liquidity up now. I have my USD Gen X liquidity. I'm going to click remove, do the max amount, and that will give me 1.29 USDC and 0.786 Gen X. I'm going to approve that, sign it, remove it, confirm it, and confirm it on MetaMask. Wait for the transaction to confirm. Now that that transaction is confirmed, you can see it gave me 1.29 USDC and 0.786 Gen X. To fully get out of this project, then you would want to sell your Gen X. So I'm going to go back again, open a new tab, it opens Quick Swap, uh, understand, continue, and there's my 7.9. I'm going to put that at the top so I can sell it. And that would sell it for 0.882 Matic um, or 1.30 USDC. I'm going to give a little Matic. I'm going to get a little Matic. So let's swap that 0.79 Gen X for 0.88 Matic. Just to add a little bit there and confirm your transaction and wait for it to go. So I showed you how to purchase on QuickSwap, provide liquidity, stake that liquidity, then on the opposite end of that spectrum, unstake that liquidity, break that LP or liquidity up, and then sell your Gen X. So this is the process you're going to use for Beta Pulsar. Again, I might make a very similar video once Beta Pulsar is out. Currently, I am unable to purchase it because it's still on Binance Smart Chain. So I just wanted to show you how to use QuickSwap here. So I do want to take a second and also show you some of the chart sites that we would use for the Matic network. So on the Binance Smart Chain, you're probably familiar with using PooCoin. Well, there's two main sites here. You could use PolyChart or DexGuru. And again, if you were to look at this web address, the last part in polychart is actually your token address. So we have that Gen X token. We can copy and paste that. that token address and we'll paste it right here. And that'll open the Gen X chart. And there's that. Or you can do it on Dex Guru. This is a little bit different as the token address is kind of in the middle here. So you'll paste it right there. 
and it'll load up the chart. So that's all I got for you today. Very brief video showing how to use QuickSwap as well as some of the chart websites you're going to use on the Matic network. So like I said, Beta Pulsar will be providing liquidity starting tomorrow. So look out for that. And that's all I got for you on this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you found this information useful or want to see more similar content. And don't forget to join up on the Discord. The link is in the description below. Till next time. Later.